hi kids, you came at the very perfect time. Can you guess what time it is? <laughs> That's right, it's story time. I hope you brought your listening ears on for this story that I'm about to share with you. It's called Princess Lily and the Hair Fairy, written by Sarah Bankady and illustrated by Christina Dutton. And guess what? It's also dedicated to a very special girl named Nika. This is a story about a little girl who's been very sick. Oh, have you ever been sick? It doesn't feel very good. But I know you and everyone else can get better inside and out without one single doubt. Oh, I have an idea. As we read the story, let's send sparkles to Princess Lily and Nika or any child who might not be feeling the very best. <laughs> Lots of love and healing sparkly sparkles from our hearts to theirs. Can you do that with me? <laughs> Fabulous! I knew you would. Oh, I almost forgot. Which feather friend should we call in to listen with us? <laughs> oh, I think that's a great idea. Let's call in our feathered friend, Ruder, who is brave, just like you. <laughs> Hi, Ruder. You're just in time for our story with my little friends and I. Are you ready, friends? Here we go. <laughs> Princess Lily had been sick for some time. And a few weeks ago, her hair started falling out. Lily had known it would happen. The healers had told her, so she was prepared, but it still made her feel sad. Just then, the door opened. Lily quickly reached to cover her head, but a hand fell on her shoulder. Remember, it's just temporary, the queen whispered. Hey kids, do you know what temporary means? It means that things will go back to the way they were, just like Princess Lily getting her hair back. I think you look beautiful, the king said. Leaning down, he kissed Lily's head, which made her laugh because his beard tickled. Hmm. Can you tell me a story? Lily asked as they tucked her into bed. The queen smiled. Hmm. I know the perfect one. Once, there was a girl who had to take special medicine, which made her hair fall out. Losing her hair made the girl very sad. And she threw it away so she wouldn't have to look at it. The next morning, the girl woke up to find a note under her pillow. Ooh, I wonder what the note said. A note? asked Lily. What did it say? Losing your hair is sad, but it doesn't have to be. You may not need it anymore, but the fairies do. Leave your hair under your pillow and we'll come and get it. Lily gasped and touched her hand. Hair fairies? Really? Do you think they want my hair? <coughs> Why don't we find out, the queen said. I had this wrapped for you. Lily held out her hand and her mother placed her hair in them. It had been brushed and beautifully wrapped. Lily grinned. I'm going to stay up all night waiting for the hair fairy, she said. I can't wait to see her. <coughs> Lily tucked the hair under her pillow and propped herself up. She 
tried her hardest to stay awake, but slowly her eyes started closing. But suddenly, a bright light lit up her room. Bing! Lily's eyes popped open. Where was that light coming from? Then she saw it. There in the corner, could it, could it really be a fairy? You're real, she gasped. And then the fairy turned to face Lily. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to wake you, she giggled. I knew it this. I'm Mika, by the way. <coughs> Lily smiled. The fairy seemed so sweet. Seeing her put Lily at ease. Are you looking for my hair? I have it right here under my pillow, just like in the story, Lily said. Reaching under her pillow, she held her hair out for the fairy. And Nika giggled again. Thanks! It would have been bad if I went home without this. We need it, you know. looked at the fairy. Why do you want my hair? She asked. Isn't that a bit strange? Stranger than fairies that collect your teeth? Asked Nika. Hmm. Lily had never thought about that that way before. Collecting teeth was strange. <coughs> well, thanks, Nika said and reached into a pouch at her waist. Then she stopped. Hmm, you know, this is your hair. Why don't you come with me to Fairy Meadow? I'll show you what we do with it. Lily could hardly believe her luck. A trip to Fairy Meadow, that was amazing. Yes, please, Lily said, and she jumped out of bed faster than she had in a long time. <coughs> Nika reached into her bag. Pulling out a handful of fairy dust, she blew it all around Lily. Lily could feel herself getting smaller as Nika held her hand through the fairy door. blinked, the dust blurring her vision. When it cleared, she found herself in another world. Hi, Lily, the fairies cried as they fluttered past. How do they know who I am? Lily asked, waving back. Oh, we know every boy and girl that is trying hard to feel better. We are always thinking about you and cheering you on. Nika said. Does every child have a fairy? Lily asked. Only those who need us the most. And there are lots of different types of fairies. Look, over there. There are water fairies. They help keep the lakes and ponds clean. help the flowers grow. Elves live in the forest and help the trees. <coughs> then there's us, air fairies. We're the ones who make the real magic happen. We collect the hair from boys and girls when they lose it and bring it back to Fairy Meadow. Taking Lily's hand, Nika flew her to a funnel. Fairies flew over it, dropping things inside. <coughs> this is where the hair goes, Nika said, dropping in Lily's hair. The fairies grind it up really small and collect it down there. Lily followed Nika to the bottom of the funnel. 
where glowing baskets filled the floor. This looks like fairy dust, Lily said, surprised. It is. You lose your hair because your body is fighting so hard to get better. That makes your hair more powerful than anyone else's. We collect it and use our magic to turn it into fairy dust, Nika explained. What does fairy dust do? Lily asked. I'm so glad you asked, Nika said. It helps flowers to grow. Lakes to shine and stars to sparkle. Without your hair, the world would not be so bright. <laughs> Lily touched her hand. Suddenly, losing her hair didn't feel so bad. In fact, it almost felt good. Thanks to her and children like her, the world was a beautiful place. Thank you, Mika, Lily said. Just knowing that I'm helping the world, it helps me too. Stepping forward, Nika gave Lily a squeeze. Remember, Lily, you are not alone. I'm here to watch over you. Anytime you want, you can leave a letter for me under your pillow, and I promise I will write back. And when you feel bad, remember this. Remember this place, and its beauty comes from you. Now, time to get you home. Lily closed her eyes as Nika blew another handful of fairy dust on her. When she opened them again, she was back in her bed. Curious, Lily reached under her pillow. Her hand hit a piece of paper and she pulled it out. It had been real. Hey kids, can you read the note with me? It says, I'm glad I'm your fairy. Love, Nika. <coughs> Lily lay back on her pillow and smiled. The thought of losing her hair didn't feel so bad anymore. Knowing it was being used to make fairy dust, well, that was pretty great. <coughs> wow! That was a magical story filled with adventure and bravery. Lily was very brave, just like Ruder. Hey kids, remember, you are strong, you are powerful, and you are brave. Sometimes life can feel a little bit scary, but with the hair fairies and the magical fairies of many kinds, and also our feather friend Ruder, you can be brave, no matter what. I know you can. Oh, I almost forgot. You can get this very special book at the link below. Be sure to let your parents know about it and get your very own. Thanks for joining me for story time today. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>